Hello, good morning. Today we're looking in on my brand new experiment that I started three weeks ago. It's the weight bin. And right now I have the bin on top of the scale and we have 14.8 pounds or 6.7 kilograms. If you remember back to when we finished this bin, when we started it, that doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. At the end of the experiment last time, it weighed 16 pounds. So it's lost two pounds in moisture or maybe carbon dioxide coming off of it. I don't know, but let's take a look in and see what the worms have been doing for the last three weeks. Looks like they've been making some friends with the fungus gnats. That's not cool. Bad choice of friends, guys. All right, so we're gonna take a look in here and I think we fed down the middle, but I know that we did have a good amount of bedding. I think it was seven pounds of bedding that we put in here last time. But as I'm going through here, I'm just gonna kind of turn, turn the bedding over so that the dry part on the top doesn't uh, stay dry and then we're going to kind of move things over and see what we've got left for food after three weeks. Now the food that we gave them was sort of dry. It was basically everything that had gone through my food processor in order to extract all the good stuff to make uh, spaghetti sauce and salsa. So even though I think the food weighed two and a half pounds, uh, there wasn't a lot of moisture to that and people have been asking me you know they had all kinds of good ideas on how to fine-tune this experiment before we really get going so um, we're going to also be checking the volume so we know the density of the items when we uh, get into there in the final part but that is many many months from now there was a little over one pound of worms in here that we rescued from worm bin 101. Looks like something has managed to get through to a avocado pit. Thanks guys, rescues me from having to uh, grow another avocado tree in my basement. So it looks like the food with the exception of the tomato wrappers is completely gone. So there's, there's none of the peppers, none of the onions, and uh, so we're not really seeing a worm ball here, but we did lose two and a half pounds, so that's, that's a kilogram. Uh, but we are seeing cocoons here, so they're breeding. They don't seem to uh, mind that we're paying close attention to them. I'm going to incorporate all this right now. I came down prepared to add bedding if they needed it, but it does not look like we need bedding this time. So what I do have here is my measuring cup of, again, more salsa and tomato canning things. This time, these have not been frozen and they also have not been pureed. But right here we have probably five cups or a little over a liter of food. So this food should take them a little bit longer. Um, I'm sorry. Like screwed up my experiment by not weighing things. Okay, so this food weighs 1.65 kilograms or 3.6 uh, pounds of food. And I will weigh this container once, once it's completely empty so we know what it is. I mean, it's glass, so it's pretty, pretty heavy. So we have uh, tea bags and onions and jalapenos and uh, a little bit of tomato. So we're gonna go ahead and give them a little bit of worm chow because I honestly don't remember if I gave them any grit or anything. So I'm gonna give them a good handful of my worm chow. That will give them some extra nutrients as well as provide them some grit uh, to handle some of that tough food. And uh, so I don't think we need bedding this time, so I am just going to cover this up. Now put your thoughts below. What percentage or how many pounds of castings do you think we're going to get out of this after a year when the worms are all finished? I'm going to continue adding paper and I'm going to continue adding food and weighing everything all the time. I don't think it needs more moisture either. I also came prepared to give them moisture if they needed it, but I don't think they need it. It looks like it's pretty good. But I am covering that up with bubble wrap so that 
We don't lose moisture very much. Uh, it looks like we lost two and a half pounds last time. So let me see, let me get the scale teared again. And we're back up to 16.4 pounds. Which is, if I'm not leaning on it, 7.4 kilograms. So I think we're back up to where we were last time. So I, I'm starting to wonder if we shouldn't track moisture input separately because um, I think that is going to affect the outcome. Let me know what your thoughts are on how this is going to go and what are the possible errors. If you like the video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. If you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. P.S. YouTube thinks you want to watch this video next but I have a playlist for this one, so I'm going to put it over there. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.